Welcome to VizMath, a MOOC. I am Betty Hurley Dasgupta, and I'm one of the co-facilitators of this MOOC. You'll see the uh, URL for the MOOC on this page, um, and you uh, probably have gotten there already, but just in case, uh, please bookmark uh, this URL. Hopefully, you'll be using it a lot. As I mentioned, um, I'm a co-facilitator. Carol Yeager and I did a MOOC last fall, and um, she is the primary constructor of this, this MOOC. Um, we used uh, Stephen Downs Grasshopper uh, software uh, to build the MOOC. And the MOOC is um, on a site thanks to uh, Dean Tom Mackey of uh, SUNY Empire State College. The logo was created by Rhett Sam. Well, uh, let me go into the, the MOOC to show you around. So this is the home page for our MOOC, and as you can see, the, the logo by Rhett Sam. And um, I'll be going through most of the elements of, the, of this MOOC, but the uh, first thing you'll want to do is to register for the MOOC. So if you click on register on the right, and you'll be asked to select a username and password to provide your email address, which is important because it is uh, valuable to get, I'll talk about this later, a uh, daily um, newsletter about activity in the MOOC. And then uh, please tell us where you heard about VizMath. Put in a number so that we know you're not a computer, that you really are a human uh, registering for this course, and uh, click to register. I'm already registered, so I'm going to go up and log in. And once you've registered and, and gotten in confirmation, you can go ahead and do that. And you just have to need to put in then the username you gave yourself and your password. Um, I'm going to say not remember since I'm not on my home computer and continue. And it will confirm that you are logged in. So let's go over some aspects here. I'm going to click back on the home page. Actually, let me go back a minute. Um, note that once you are successful, um, you may want to edit your personal information um, and you may want to change your, your password and you can log out from this page if you wish. But going back to the home page, um, this page you should take a, a, a read of and uh, to familiar science yourself with them with the MOOC and take a look at these videos. They're very helpful in terms of what is a MOOC and how to be successful in a, in a MOOC. And uh, there's also some uh, information about what this MOOC is, which is called a connectivist MOOC, uh, based on the work of George Siemens and Stephen Downs. We um, then have um, a more information about this course, and you certainly should read through that. Um, and it, it gives a summary of uh, what um, is covered in the course, as well as a little more information about us. An important page, and one that you'll probably be uh, referring to most, is the course outline. And from this page, you are able to go out to each of the sessions that we have planned for uh, this math. As you see, we have some exciting topics. And we have separated um, into what we are calling sessions. Um, they include um, information that uh, we think you'll en enjoy uh, reading, but you're welcome to um, take a look at it as little or much of that if you, as you want. We will also have synchronous sessions using a virtual room through Blackboard Collaborate. And those will be on um, most Thursdays, uh, those dates listed, um, at noon Eastern Standard Time. So I'll go in to our first one. So on October 18th, we will have on Thursday um, a session with Apostolus Doxiatis, who is the writer of a number of books, including Logic Comics. And for each of our presenters, we've provided you with a little bit of information about them. If you click on their name, you'll get further information up about them through their websites. And um, as you see, we, we have some recommended links to take a look at to get a better idea of him and some uh, related topics. And then here's the information about the seminar. Um, so this is the link to the Blackboard Collaborate Room. 
Um, it's an easy room to uh, maneuver in. Um, on the first session, we'll give you a, a, a quick lesson, but you should uh, try to sign in a few minutes early because there is a bit of a, a setup. And um, um, if you are in a different time zone, you have some help there. For each of the weeks, we have given you some suggested act activities that we uh, would love for you to try. Um, but uh, again, you're welcome to do this as, as you wish. Now, we do have in here an explanation about how this works. This, um, this is called a connectivist MOOC. And the idea of a connectivist MOOC is that um, it provides you as the learner the opportunity to really explore in this course and get out of it what you want to get out of it. So there are a number of ways in which to do that. You certainly can do it in a very solitary way. You can come in, check out the website, check out the readings, check out the recordings from the, the presentations. Um, we do hope, though, that uh, you take the advantage of the learning community that you are now part of um, as a, a registered member. And uh, that means that um, you not only come in and take a look at the information, but that um, you um, microblog through Twitter. And you can do that using hashtag VizMath in Twitter. And anytime you do that, that gets pulled in uh, to the, the course and gets reported out each day. You can also register a blog, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And um, anytime you again put hashtag VizMath within a blog entry, that gets picked up and shared with others. And then you can go through the daily newsletter and see what people are saying and connect with people who have similar interests to you. So that's where you are making the connections um, with other learners, with other people who have similar interests. You can also take any of the information um, that is, is here and, and uh, rework it any way you want. This, every, all the information that we are providing, um, unless we've uh, stated otherwise, are um, open educational resources. So please read through this um, because I think this will give you a, a, a sense of, of uh, the goals that we have for you as part of this uh, community. Um, if there are some other sections here that you read, uh, for example, your, your privacy. Uh, we've already uh, talked about registering and, and um, uh, logging in. Um, in here are um, uh, an opportunity to read the newsletter. If, if you've not gotten it through your um, email, you can also read it here. Uh, there will be an archive, so it's an easy way to come and, and see um, newsletters from each of the days. Um, the blog posts will be here. There is a discussion within um, this math itself. Um, but here's the opportunity to add a new blog feed. So if you have a, a blog in which you want to do, share some of your thoughts with this math, uh, you would fill out the form below. Um, the title for your blog, uh, your name as author, and the usual web page URL for your blog but in addition, you will need an RSS feed. So this is a separate uh, URL. And um, you can look at the tutorials up here for um, more information on how to do that. But if you have any questions, uh, certainly send me your Carol Yeager a note, and we'll uh, try to help you out with that. Um, submit, and it, you should get a note that your um, blog has been registered. Um, if you, again, if you have any questions, let us know. Um, and uh, these are the, some of the feeds from the blog. So as you can see, there's, through this course, um, it's a, a really an opportunity not, not just to uh, listen to, re, uh, to presenters and uh, uh, get a, a, some information, but also to share um, the beauty of math with um, a, a whole new community of, of, of people. And we're very much looking forward to spending the fall with you uh, in BizMath. And thank you very much for your intention.